All right, so now that I've got the flange built for the aircraft control flight stick, the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm going to cut some mounting brackets and drill the holes in them so that I can weld it and bolt it to the frame. Quite a bit of work done since the last one. You'll notice that I've gone in and shaped the brackets and it fits really, really well with the aircraft flange. So it'll rotate back and forth like that. And that's what it looks like. A couple bolts and washers. It's all bolted together. The next thing to do is to weld it on and then build the steering harness. I put the potentiometer on here because that tells me the amount of height that I need and I went in and I marked this spot right here, which is the center hole, which is where this thing is gonna rotate off of. And then the next thing that I did was I went in and I marked the bottom of this so that I know that all of this part of the handlebar I can cut off is just extra. All right, next project on the aircraft steering system is to get a bracket built so that when the flight stick goes one direction, this will rotate and push the steering thereby changing the direction of the wheels. And then of course, when you pull it the other direction, it will then pull the steering linkage and then the wheels will turn as well. So this is the one I started off with. It was too small, so I went in and I built this one, which was then a little bit too big. You can see I put the original hole there and then I moved it up there. And then I actually used both of these templates because I wanted it so that when the flight system would push down at, it, at its furthest extreme angle when it's about like this, that one of these little brackets would kind of, it starts off like this and then it would kind of butt up next to the frame and limit the steering so that I don't lock out my steering system. So I took this little guy with that new little deal right there and I took this little guy and I got about the right angle and that gave me this piece. I traced the cardboard template pattern onto the steel, went in and cut it off with my cutoff saw, so the next thing is, is to try and get this thing all cut out correctly. After just a couple of cuts on there, it looks like this. Next thing to do is to mount this thing into my vise and then go in from there and seriously grind it down to the final shape. You know, I got to looking at the piece of steel that I had cut, which basically looks like this and I'd cut it basically straight from that. Cut it all grinded down, and it just looks like a big stupid Dumbo ear to me. I mean, it just looks, it looks awful. It's like this big heavy chunk of plate. Well, I think I finished. It has gone from looking like Dumbo's ear to looking like a golf club. The golf stick is now official. <laughs> Look at it. Sitting there on its bracket, move around this side. As that thing swings left and right, it will steer the melon bait. Okay, I just went out and I took the handlebar, drilled a hole in it, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Have you ever seen a trike with airplane steering? <laughs> it'll go forward and back with the potentiometer. It'll go left and right. Um, basically, all this little guy needs now, it needs a couple washers. Uh, two on the inside, probably two on the outside, because it's a little bit loosey-goosey right there. And um, then, of course, it's going to need the steering mechanism that comes out of the side, goes down, and, and causes it to steer. I just got the aircraft system all finished up. We're going to zoom in here so you guys can see it. This is the bracket that I, I drew and have been building. I also then put this bracket on here. And we're gonna go up underneath. And as you look underneath, you're gonna be able to see where that bracket connects. Here's the bracket, and there's a little beam that comes here to the steering mechanism. It's all hooked up with a couple pieces of mechanism, and look at what it does. It steers exactly like I was hoping this was going to. <laughs> Humongous problem I discovered though, I'm an idiot. Look, I'm running my chain and the steering on the same exact side as the Velmobile. 
So what I'm gonna get to do is go in and cut the bracket off and weld it to the other side so that the steering and the chain won't rub on each other or prevent each other from working. <laughs> Look at that, I am really stoked with that. That's gonna be the other side of my steering bracket. And so now all I have to do is just get it welded on. Here's the new bracket, pretty excited about it. The other steering arm is now on there. And I know I've been giving this little goofy thing names because it's been like the big Dumbo ear and then it's been the golf stick. But you know, to me now, it kind of looks like a little airplane. <laughs> All right, well, I've got everything hooked back up. I'm pretty excited. The steering is working like it's supposed to. Seat is bolted in place. All the cables are run. I actually discovered that my bar end shifter up on the handlebar is only for an eight speed and I've got a 10 speed cassette on the back so I'm gonna need a new one of those. I also uh, no, discovered that if you'll notice there's a couple wires hanging from the thing motor. Because this thing is a trike, it's extra long. So I'm gonna have to order some extension cables for that as well. But all in all, we're gonna take her out for a test spin even though she shut, doesn't shift perfectly. <laughs> we're gonna see what, it, what she runs like. All right, here we go. This is the first ever test spin of my little trike. <laughs> Let's see what she does. <laughs> oh, she shifts well. <laughs> nice. Man, I would love to get this thing with the Bafang motor running. Oh, hey, that's a good gear. Wow, she's got nice tight shifting. I mean steering. Oh, I gotta start accounting for that back tire. <laughs> oh, she brakes like a dream. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs>